highly controversial bill criticised across the board. Denmark's Prime Minister says it's simply misunderstood. The Danish parliament has voted in a new law authorising the seizure of asylum seekers' valuables to pay for their stay in Denmark. What has uh, made this uh, discussion start is more or less the fact that people have such an idea that uh, Denmark is like uh, some kind of paradise which you can just uh, arrive to and then you will get whatever you need and that is not the case any longer. The new law gives authorities the power to take any cash or valuables above $1,450. Necessities and sentimental items like wedding rings are excluded. Authorities say the rules bring migrants in line with welfare policies which apply to Danish citizens. The bill also includes changes to refugees' rights to be reunited with their families. Asylum seekers who have applied for temporary residency will have to wait three years before their family can join them, instead of only one under the current law. This affects around a fifth of Denmark's refugees. The United Nations has warned the law violates human rights. We think it's fair and reasonable that those asylum seekers who do bring enough assets with them should cover the costs of their food and lodging during the asylum process itself. Denmark took in 20,000 refugees last year. It expects 25,000 this year. And some critics there say its generosity and resources are overwhelmed. Once a champion of refugees' rights, the aim now is to make Denmark less appealing for asylum seekers. This law is being seen as symbolic. Uh, probably no refugees coming to Denmark have value, valuables in the level of 10,000 Danish kroners. So uh, it is primarily a signal uh, that uh, don't go to Denmark. We are very tough uh, up here. This new law is not a law for refugees. It's a racist law by the Danish people. They don't tell you that you have to go back to the country that you came from, but slowly it becomes that way. Me and all my Iraqi friends, we will eventually go back to Baghdad. Denmark is the latest European country to harden its stance to try to stem the flow of refugees as the migrant crisis puts the EU's Schengen zone at risk. Hungary has closed its borders with Serbia, Croatia and Slovenia, while Macedonia has a fence under construction along its border with Serbia. These countries have also reimposed border controls. Several states say they will seek to extend temporary border controls for as long as two years. For refugees fleeing war and persecution, the road to Europe is becoming longer and more difficult and the promise of a better life less promising. The once warm welcome in countries like Denmark has now turned chilly. Yvette McCullough, The Newsmakers.